we start today in New York City. There's a woman there who really believes that when it comes to her loft, there's no such thing as too much color. New York City's Upper East Side may look dull and drab outside, hey. but inside April Miller's Manhattan oh. penthouse, this is amazing. It's an explosion of color. April decked out every room of her four bedroom, four bathroom apartment with an amazing collage of colors. So this is the living room here. In the living room, there's a carpet mosaic floor, candy colored walls, and some of the most eye-popping furniture ever made. The sofa is a combination of two couches covered with wildly mismatched fabrics. Oh wow. So this is the kitchen. Dramatic colors continue in the kitchen. Painted parquet floors pop out like giant puzzle pieces. Colorful plexiglass windows sparkle inside odd-shaped cabinets. And the kitchen table features a 50s-style countertop with see-through legs filled with kids' toys and photos. What's it like living in this space? You know, it's fun and it's a nice family place. April lives with her two daughters, Dylan, age 14, and Lyris, age 11, who have cool rooms of their own. Dylan's room has a balcony and bright, I mean, bright colors. If you wake up in the morning, it's sort of like a second alarm clock because it's so bright and that you wake up and you're like, wow. Lyris's room has fun colors too and features a theater stage that doubles as a bed. Down the hall is April's master bedroom where she made a cushy wraparound headboard and added big pillows perfect for pillow fights. And finally, through a quirky set of doors is the most spectacular part of the house. Oh my stars, look at this. The bathroom. Textured concrete walls scream with gold powdered paints. The sink and countertops shine in the stained glass. And covering the floor and bathtub are more than 8,000 Italian glass tiles. So I've got little notes in here, like, here's one to my children, to Dylan and Lyris, love mommy. Now, I gotta say, I don't like cleaning the bathroom. I don't know anybody who does. But I would enjoy cleaning this bathroom because the tiles are so beautiful and colorful. Well, and it's also, the further that you walk into the bathroom, the more things you find. April's Manhattan apartment is about the most colorful house we've seen. But it wasn't like that when she first moved in. It was just white, just so much white that it was making me sick. When she bought the place nearly 10 years ago, she knew she had to add some color. But she never dreamed it would end up like this. I can never find what I'm looking for that exists in the world, and so I don't have any choice, but I have to create it myself. Okay. April makes her own furniture from vintage pieces. By designing a bold new upholstery from colorful cloth and trim. It comes from this, this desire to, to place things next to each other that don't match. But yet when it's done, it's like, wow, that's so exciting, it's so interesting. As for this piece, April has yet to transform it. I look at that piece of furniture and basically it looks really unhappy and dismal to me. It's a sad chair. It's a sad chair. I know that chair needs me. For April, color is the driving creative force behind her Manhattan masterpiece. <laughs>